this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can use links to link group policy objects to various containers. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new group policy. So we're just going to do that in the group policy objects. We're going to create this group policy to remove the run command. So we'll call it remove run command. We'll select OK. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come in and edit my group policy. And on my group policy, based off the name, we want to remove the run command. So we're going to do that for users. So let's just come in here. Let's go to policies, admin templates. And then within our admin templates, what we want to do here is we just want to come down to, we have a look down here, our start menu and taskbar. And what we want to do here is just remove the run command. So we'll just scroll down a bit. And we'll just look for remove run command. So there we go. And we'll just double click this. And what we'll do is we'll just enable this and select OK. Now that we've done that, we'll just close down Group Policy Management Editor. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to create another quick group policy. And this group policy will be created to do not remove the run command. So we'll just right click, new, and then we'll call this one do not remove the run command. So again, we'll just select OK. And then all we'll do here is we'll right click, we'll just edit. Now what we'll do now is we'll just come down to our user policies again, admin templates again, then we'll go for our start menu and taskbar, and then we'll just put these in alphabetical order, and then we'll just find the run command again. And what we'll do at this point here is we'll actually disable this group policy. So now that we've done that, we'll select OK, close down group policy management editor, we now have our two group policies in place. Now we've done this, we've created these two group policies, but we haven't actually linked them to anything. So what we want to do for the entire organization as a whole, we want to remove the run command. So in order to do that, we're just going to come to a datum. We're going to right click on a datum at the domain level. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to link an existing group policy object. And what we're going to do here is we're going to remove the run command. We'll select OK at this point here. Then if we just have a look down at, let's say, for example, IT, if we just have a look at the group policy inheritance, we can see that the remove run command has been inter uh, inherited at the organizational unit of IT. So what we want to do here is we want to give the IT department the run command back. Two different ways we could do that. We could block inheritance, but that would block all of the group policies coming from above. Or let's just link in the group policy that we created called do not remove the run command. And we'll select OK at this point here. So what we've done here, put this in order of preference. So this based off the order of preference, this is sitting at the top. Now let's just say for testing purposes, what we want to do is we want to give everybody the remove run command back. So we're just going to highlight the remove run command at this point. I'll just click OK to go to that area focus. Now, if I right click on the remove run command, we can see that currently the link is enabled. Now, if we disable the link, that also removes the group policy. If we just come back to IT, what we can see, we no longer have the remove run command. Even though it's still listed at datum, we have unlinked it. Another thing we can do here as well is we can completely remove the link. So if I just right click on remove run command, and if we just have a look down here and click delete, one of the important things to note here, it says, do you want to delete this link? It will not delete the group policy object. I'm purely removing the link to a datum.com. So we'll select OK at this point here. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration at looking at links for group policy objects. Thank you.